but for me i always like to double base it okay i like to double bag it double coat it okay hi guys welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is ohema welcome if you are a returning subscriber you know that we started a series called eyeshadow 101 i want to say last week or maybe a few weeks ago where i'm showing you guys how i prep my eyeshadow base to get the maximum color payoff for eyeshadows or at least to get your eyeshadow to last all day like i keep saying i i feel like my eyeshadow can actually last through a tornado like if that were a thing that would be my thing okay so for today's video what we're gonna do is we are going to prep our eyeshadow base i'm gonna actually pull you guys in closer so i'm gonna pull you guys in closer we're gonna get a really macro in-depth tutorial or how to on how to prep your eyeshadow base so if you want to see how i prep my eyeshadow base to get the maximum color payoff and also how i prep my eyeshadow base to have my eyeshadow last all day then keep on watching so personally this is how i like to prep my eyes for eyeshadow there used to be a time when i didn't prep my eyes like this and i would realize that after i finished my look my eyeshadow wouldn't last as long or that the colors did not show up the way i wanted them to show up or even if they showed up they ended up being like murky or like a different color it just it just didn't work for me okay so i had to go ahead and figure out a new way to do things okay because i have stopped doing my full brow before i do my eyeshadow routine like it's a little different for me if you're someone who who does your full brow definitely do the whole brows and clean it up and everything before you start your eyeshadow prep but for me personally i like to do my brows after my foundation goes on okay so first i go in with my eyebrow pencil i'm using the fenty beauty brow mvp in the shade soft black i usually use the shade deep black i just don't know where deep black went so i'm gonna use soft black what i like to do is line the bottom of my brow as if i'm going to fill in my brows This is the exact shape my brows would be if I were actually filling in my whole brow. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. And I like using this concealer because it is a mattifying concealer. And once it sets, I don't have to worry about, you know, setting it with powder or anything. If you haven't yet seen my video on eyeshadow bases and what concealers I like to use as eyeshadow base, then I'll definitely link that down below so you can check it out. Then I go in and line or clean up my brow so i'm just following this a regular brow routine just imagine i filled in my brows and now i'm cleaning it up okay I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow primer. I will be making a video about eyeshadow primers because eyeshadow primers are different from eyeshadow 
basis. So think about an eyeshadow primer as a face primer before you put your foundation on. Eyeshadow primer acts as the barrier between your natural skin oils and your eyeshadow. It holds on to the eyeshadow base and it helps it last all day, okay? So before eyeshadow bases or before people wanted more color payoff out of their eyeshadow, they were only putting their eyeshadow directly onto eyeshadow primers thing. So an eyeshadow primer, essentially it's like a face primer for me because i'm oily skin it also acts as a barrier between my natural oils and my eyeshadow base so i have like a little drawer thingy over here that i put my eyeshadow primers i'm going to show you guys what i have and what i use as eyeshadow primers this is in no particular order okay but first i have the fenty beauty pro filter invisi pink and this is an eyeshadow Primer. The Thrive Cosmetics Invisible Matte Eyeshadow Primer. Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's an eyeshadow primer. And then I have the original, original, original eyeshadow primer that I have been using essentially since I, since I started posting makeup videos. The NYX Proof It Eyeshadow primer this is my go-to this is the one that i would bring bring on a desert with me because i've used this so much i know it works i love it there's also a nyx eyebrow primer that if you're someone who has like a lot of brow hairs you can use it and it will literally hold your brows up and if you have oily brows like me what i do is i put it on before i apply my brow product and it helps the brow product stay like all day okay i'm gonna go in with the nyx proof it eyeshadow primer Okay, and I like to just apply directly from the wand and I put it on my eyelids. So if you can see, like my eyelids already shiny, like it's shiny and oily. You know, obviously if you wipe it, it will go away, right? But imagine if I don't prime my eyelids, all that oil will come through and ruin my eyeshadow. And I actually like blending it in with my finger. So I'm gonna use my finger that has like the shortest nail and I'm going to blend this in. I'm blending it up into the concealer. See, now my eyelids is tacky. If you can, I know you can't feel it, but it's tacky. Okay, so now, now is a perfect time to go ahead and put your eyeshadow base on it. Now, of course, what, what color eyeshadow base you use is up to you. If you're doing like a really colorful look, you need a very light eyeshadow base. If you're doing a natural everyday look, you know, like a muted look, you can use the same concealer you use to clean up your brows as your eyeshadow base. If you're doing like an everyday, I'm in a hurry routine, you can definitely put your eyeshadow primer on and put some of your foundation on your eyes and the eyeshadow base will grab onto that foundation and not make your eyelids um, get oily and it's not gonna break up on you, okay? So I have been using the ABH eyeshadow primer a lot or eye primer a whole lot. So I'm just gonna use today, we're gonna use the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and this one is in the shade halo if you don't have anything at all like if you don't want to buy anything or you know buy any extra brushes the best brush you can use to blend out your eyeshadow is your blending brush okay now a blending brush is any brush that is fluffy enough that you know you can blend out your eyeshadow with and blow it up you cannot use a very small a uh, brush like this one to blend out the eyeshadow on your eyes because it's not going to blend it in properly you can use a sponge but because sponges tend to absorb product it's going to absorb the eyeshadow base off your eye and the whole point of an eyeshadow base is to get like as full of the coverage as possible this brush i have here is the juno and co brush and this is the es07 brush I love using this as my eyeshadow base blender. That's literally all I use this brush for. Another brush that I like to blend my eyeshadow base with is the BH Cosmetics Pro Brush. And this is the number five. This is what that looks like. And they, these are the two. And this is what they look like. They are fluffy brushes. And they work really, really well as eyeshadow base 
blenders, okay? Now, the one that I had been using that I showed you guys is this Avita Joseph brush, and this is the multi buffer. It has two tips to it. It has a tip that looks like an eyeshadow blending brush, and it has the other tip of it that has like a stippling edge to it. I like using I like using this because it's so easy for me to flip like from one end to the other. Like I could just, you know, flip and blend, flip and blend. So I use this side whenever I start blending it in so that it can like cover it really, really well. And that's all I use it for. So the shade is already good on my eyes. And then after I get here, I use the stippling side to just stipple it in and blend it out. You're gonna go ahead and apply the base onto my eye like so. And I'm using a really white base today. I, I haven't used like a white, white base in a while. I'm taking the Juno & Co ES07 brush. I will have a link down below where you can purchase this brush. And if you don't use my link and you decide to go, and if you don't use my link, you can also use my code Ohema and get a discount at checkout. But taking the same, taking the blending brush, what I'm going to do is start blending it in and you don't blend eyeshadow base like this because do you see what it's doing? It's like taking the product off my eyes and pushing it to the outside. Okay. You blend an eyeshadow base by stippling it in like this. Okay. Do you see when I stippled it in, it's like it covered it up. It's going to give you more. It's going to give you more coverage and a fuller coverage. Okay. So I'm not going to look up at you guys anymore. I'm just going to blend and I'm just tapping it in and that's all you do. You just tap it in. Okay, and when you get to the edges of your look, you're going to tap and pull, like like a little tap and pull motion like that, so that you don't get that line over there and it blends in like over here. Okay, so you're gonna tap and do this. You're still tapping, you're not dragging it, you're just flicking it, like tap and flick. Essentially is all we're doing. We're tapping and flicking the edges of it, right? So that we don't get like a sharp line like this. We're just tapping and flicking it. Okay, and that helps you blend the two shades together so you're not just getting white all the way up to your brows of course there are some looks that you need maximum eyelid space for and you're like i'm just gonna blend from here to here because i need all the space to be able to showcase the eyeshadow look that i'm going for there is nothing wrong with that if that is what your intention is but if you do want it to look more natural I mean, of course it's gonna be dramatic, but if you don't want the color to go all the way up to your brows, then don't pull your white eyeshadow base all the way to your brow. If you intend on blending every single inch of this space that you got, blend out your, sh your white shade all the way to your brow, if that's what you're looking for, okay? I, right now, don't know what look I'm gonna do, but whatever it is, I'm gonna try to keep it right here, because I. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. But do you see how when I look up at you and I look down, there's that line over there? Every time before you apply your eyeshadow, if you have hooded eyes, if you have hooded eyes like I do, make sure you look down again and blend out that line that you get before you apply your eyeshadow. And if you tap and flip it, that line will blend right 
out, okay? And the reason why I usually don't like to look at you guys whenever I prep my eyelids before I start doing my eyeshadow is because I don't want to have to get that line and keep blending it because once the base sets, that line is not gonna move. One of the questions that I got whenever I asked you guys for the poll was that somebody said every time they apply glitter or shimmer shades, they realize that they get a line over here. And of course, when you're applying the glitter, I'm hoping that you're using an eyeshadow, a glitter adhesive. If you are using a glitter adhesive, once you apply that glitter adhesive and you look up, it creates that line over there, right? And then you go back and you apply your glitter. As soon as, if you look up, as soon as you apply your glitter, guess what's gonna happen? That glitter is gonna bunch up in the lines and when you look down, you're gonna get lines in your eyelids. So the best thing to do once you apply glitter shades or your shimmer shades or eyeshadow shades onto a damp wet base if you have hooded eyes like i do the best thing you can do for yourself so you don't get lines in your eyeshadow is once you apply whatever shade or whatever thing it is that you're gonna put on your eyelids if it's wet don't look up just keep your eyes looking down and fan it or something until it's dry the best way that you can tell that your base is dry or not your base the best way you can tell that your um, glitter base is dry or your glitter is ready to you know slay and show people is when you close your eyelids and you don't feel that cold sensation on your eye then that means your eye is dry and you can go ahead and, and you can go ahead and open your eyes okay but back to our eyeshadow base this is a very good base that you can work with it is not bad by any means necessary but for me I always like to double base it okay I like to double bag it double coated okay so i'm gonna go in one more time with that white halo cut crease canvas i'm gonna place that all over my eyelids i only just put it in the middle because i know that if i just spread it all over it's gonna be very difficult for me to blend it out and then i'm gonna have to end up blending it all the way up to my brows okay i'm gonna use the other side of the blending brush and i'm just gonna tap it in so that i can get maximum coverage out of this second layer okay i'm just tapping it in and tapping it in and tapping it in If you notice I'm keeping the border of it like as low as possible so that when it's time for me to blend the edges out I'm not blending the edges into my brow okay now I'm gonna flip the brush because this is the side I use to blend the white base I'm gonna use the other side to blend the edges of it oh I'm wiping my brush off a bit so I don't put too much white onto the edges but I'm gonna use the other end of the brush to blend the edges of this out And I'm blending that edge into the brown concealer that I use to clean up my brows. The reason why I brought the concealer so far down was because I needed it to be able to blend into my white concealer, my white eyeshadow base without it looking crazy, okay? And if you flip the brush, you get more of the eyeshadow base to work with. And then if you flip the brown side, you can use that to blend out the edges. just tapping and flipping and if you don't want to flip it and you know make a mistake always just tap it make sure that your edges are blended out or blown out that way whenever you apply your foundation it doesn't look like there's a line over there and also you have to really really take a look at it if you see any gaps anywhere use your brush and blend out those spots or gaps that look like they like they don't have any coverage on it OK 
Okay, so here we go. Or should I say here we are? You just have to keep taking a look at it until you feel like the blend is blended enough. Your eyeshadow blend does not only start once you put your eyeshadow on or once you start putting your eyeshadow on. It starts with your base, okay? So your base has to look as flawless and as seamless as possible. That way, you know, all the color can blend out the same in every direction. I'm just lightly blending over everything so that it like marries together properly. And if you have a hooded eyes like I do, just keep looking down until you're done because if you look up, it's going to crease on you. If you need to look up and you look up, make sure you blend out your crease before you apply your eyeshadow, okay? Okay, so this is how I prep my eyes for eyeshadow on point, right, right? I'm gonna do a little something something with the Wahala palette and I will come back so you guys can see. Okay, you guys, so this is what I was able to achieve with our eyeshadow base that we created. I didn't want it to go to waste, so I went ahead and did something really quickly, really simple, you know what I mean? Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next eyeshadow 101 video. Bye.